We all know that fifth edition of Organon of Medicine was published in 1833 and sixth edition was published in 1921. But only a few of us know what happened in between this long period of 88 years. Why does it took so long to publish this last and most nearly perfect of all work? In this video, you are going to know that interesting story which gave the sixth edition of Organon the value of a treasure, the Dar of Treasure. Also, in the end of the video, you are going to know why this topic is important, what kind of questions are asked from this topic in MCQs, in Viva, and in job interviews. For this, we have to move back to the time when the things actually started to happen. In a letter which Dr. Henneman wrote to his publisher, Wilma Schwab, in February 1842, he mentioned, After eight months of work, I have now finished the sixth edition of my organon, the most nearly perfect of all. This means the edition was completed in 1842, but before he can publish it, he was gone into his eternal sleep in 2nd of July 1843. Now this is where the storyline twists, as now the possession of all his works came to Mrs. Hanneman, Madame Malini. She was also a homeopathic practitioner. And after the death of her husband, her colleague started to oppose her practice and to seize it. For her support, she asked some foreign homeopathic practitioner like Dr. Von Bonningerson, Dr. C. Herring to come and settle their practice in Paris along with her. But that didn't happen and she didn't want it to be left alone and to be helpless amongst these critics. So she tried another way. She offered Dr. Bonningerson the marriage proposal of her adopted daughter, Frau, with his son, Karl von Bonningerson. On the other hand, Dr. Bonningerson was making efforts to persuade Mrs. Henneman for the patient's records and sixth edition of Organon to publish. Earlier, Mrs. Henneman kept refusing it, but when her daughter's marriage proposal was accepted, she made the promise that she will give the copy of work and will agree to publish the sixth edition. Dr. Bonningerson became so enthusiastic about it and started to plan the publication work with his colleagues and committee members. The marriage of Frau and Karl took place in July 1857. The couple lived with Mrs. Hanneman and with the support of his son-in-law, she again started her practice zealously, but her promise of publication of the work remained unfulfilled and Dr. Bonningerson was only ridiculed by his colleagues. Later, Lutz and Sus Hanneman, the grandson of Dr. Hanneman, tried to publish the work. But Mrs. Henneman strictly abandoned them from doing so, reminding them that she is the only possessor of the writings, and publishing them against her will was an illegal act. Besides that, continued efforts were taking place from various countries, with most extensive efforts to obtain the writings. But Mrs. Henneman kept increasing her demands seizing the opportunity, but also losing her reputation by doing so. For instance, Dr. Constantine Herring, Dr. Adolf Lippe, Dr. Rao from Henneman College of Philadelphia attempted to persuade her, but she asked for an extraordinary sum. Dr. Carol Dunham of New York also tried for negotiation which she agreed, but soon after that, Dr. Dunham died. 
when Dr. Bates of London inquired her about the works, she gave various excuses for delaying the publication, such as she wanted to protect it from the jealousy and persecution of Hanneman's followers. She had to wait until the bitterness of contemporaries subsides. The publication ought to be done under her supervision so that no alteration in original work could happen. And Hanneman's artistic handwriting would be difficult to comprehend for Englishmen. But later it was revealed that she wanted to give it to North Americans and for this she demanded $50,000. Finally, her death on May 1878 broke off the negotiation. And so, Mrs. Hanneman never let the publication happen. After her death, her adopted daughter, Fra, gained the position of words. Now she saw that she can't get the sum that her mother demanded. Hence, she brought it down to $25,000. After a meeting with Dr. H. N. Gunsey, she finally dropped it at $10,000 but she demanded to share the profits from the publication. This deal didn't work out as well. In 1900, Frau also died and since she had no children, her husband got the possessions. In 1906, Dr. Richard Henn and William Burick made the second visit to Darup the home to the Boningossen family. But this visit was also a failure. Only in 1920, Dr. Richard Hale succeeded to make terms with Carl von Boningossen's heirs and finally got the possession of all the works of Dr. Hanneman. At that time, it was called as Treasure of Darup because it was left for decades in the abandoned mansion of Bonngossen's family estate in a town named Darup in Germany. It took great perseverance of Dr. Richard Hell over a period of 23 years to finally obtain it. The Darup treasure includes most of Hanneman's literary legacy, such as his case books from the time 1801, his repertories, his original provings of medicines, around 5,000 letters which he wrote to his friends, acquaintance, family members, and of course, the unpublished manuscript of the sixth edition of Organ of Medicine. This treasure is kept preserved in Robert Post Institute, Stuttgart, Germany. Now, as promised, I will give you some important questions asked from this topic. The first is, what is Daruk treasure? Now if you have seen the video, you can easily answer this question. It is asked in MCQs for PG entrance exams and UPSC exams. And the answer is, yes, the 6th edition along with other works of Dr. Henneman obtained from Daruk. The second question is, when was the 6th edition completed? Not published, but completed. Or when did Dr. Hanneman completed 6th edition? Answer to this question is also given in the video and it is February 1842. This question may be asked in your Viva and also in your job interviews. So this was it. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, keep it simplified.